Hi everyone, in Hopping Control, you may come across a situation where you no longer need an item, prep, or product. This can be caused by you no longer carrying it, or maybe a duplicate was made by mistake. Today I'm going to show you how to deactivate an item, prep, or product. By doing this, you will no longer see it come up on any future reports, count sheets, sales, etc. The first step is going into the item and recipe management. This can be found under miscellaneous from the main menu. From here, you're going to see three tabs, one for items, preps, and products. You can go into whichever tab you're wanting to deactivate. To deactivate an item, you simply need to search for the item or find it from the list, and then uncheck the active box and click save. The one time you might run into an issue is if the item you are trying to deactivate is in a prep or a product. Let's search for one now. You can tell it's in a prep or a product because it's going to be bolded. And if we highlight it, on the right side, it's going to show everything that it's in. So in order to deactivate this item, what we need to do is either remove it from the prep or product or deactivate it from the prep or product first. So we can go into the prep tab, deactivate that, click save, and now we can go back into the item tab, uncheck the box, and click save. Now if you deactivate an item by mistake, or you want to just bring back a previously deactivated item because maybe you're bringing it back, to bring it back, what we can do is we can hit this filter icon here, and then we can filter for all their, either all items or inactive items. Once we do that, we'll see the item is still there, but in red, and we can just check it off to reactivate it. And that is how you use the item and recipe management to activate and deactivate items. Thanks for watching.